TGT I need you on Pumalanga's Raza FM Thank you so much for choosing us You know, all I need from you is to stay put Because on the line we are joined by Musoni Who is a cultural memory specialist On our topic um, In fact, on the thoughts on You know, a lot of people have um, certain myth about ancestors But right now, all we're talking about is uh, the petition that is uh, running around or roaming around, uh, the traditional leaders of South Africa has started a petition to have the National Ancestors Day, Ngamtlaga, 8 May. And we needed you to send through your thoughts on our Facebook page at RazaFam 943 and also sharing your WhatsApp voice notes or text 072 And coming up next, I'll be sharing that with you, you and RazaFam. Thank you so much uh, for being with us. You are listening to Lunch with Chingy and, of course, Miss K and uh, Sibo uh, out and about in Durban. Now, getting into um, our chat of the day and, and joined by on the line is Muso. Muso, thank you so much. Uh, Musoni, thank you so much for making time uh, to be with us this afternoon. It's a pleasure. Sanbarani Makaya in Shekhar. And uh, Muso Nige is a cultural memory specialist and the purpose of having him on the line is for him to help us understand, you know, the importance of the petition and also, you know, a lot of stigma um, around Inza Bayemazu, Inza Bayebandugela Bapila before us and sisters in particular. Uh, Muso Nige, kindly take us through. All right. So, I think firstly, uh, as you mentioned, the stigma there's uh, there's been history where uh african people are brought to a state of mind where anything african ancestral specifically african ancestral has to be, had to be demonized over a thousand uh, probably more than 500 years so the importance of that being reversed is the reason why it was implemented in the first place because when we look at all dominant cultures in the world, all of them have one thing in common. They honor their African memory, I mean their ancestral memory. Uh, everything all around us is all about ancestral memory. Right now, today is the 2nd of May. That is ancestral memory behind it because May is named after a, a Greek goddess called Maya. So we are actually honoring Greek ancestors. Even some of the the months, your authors and these are uh, Roman ancestors, stuff like that. So at the end of the day, even when one introduces themselves and someone asks you what is your name, you tell them your name and your surname. Your surname being your last name has to do with, that's the name of your ancestors. Mm-hmm. at the end of the day. So one cannot run away from that. The only way you can run away from your own ancestral memory is by embracing someone else's ancestral memory. So there is no vacuum in between. So which means you end up being someone else's slave because he who circumscribes your circumference determines the diameter of your thinking. So you can never really rise above or outside of the reality or the reality that they've created for you. So with that being said, all efforts to try and and um, uplift African people back to the state of, of, of high culture, uh, all of them defeat the purpose unless the, the, the cultural memory is restored and the only way to do that is to honor our ancestors. That is the only way we can get our communities to become the best communities again, Mm -hmm. where uh, a neighbor respects their neighbor, a child respects their elder, which we have lost today. Mm. Now, how important is the petition? Uh, The petition is very, very important. For me, it is a point of crossover. It is the beginning of of, of a new journey because with, when that happens, it affords, uh, when we finally have that day, that uh, holiday, it finally, it will afford, it opens the door for the next generation to be able to, 
to, to build upon that. That just becomes the foundation because uh, from there people can have, you're basically creating a space by having that holiday. So you're really creating a space because currently you do not have that space. We spend 12 months of the year celebrating other people's ancestral memory. Uh, all these public holidays and and seasons and all that, they're all about uh, someone else's ancestral memory. So we cre- we should be creating, the first step in, in, in creating anything is to create space. Once you create a space, it's like buying a piece of land and cleaning it up. It's, even if you haven't built anything, you've created space. And when that space has been created, then you can have um, building blocks being placed within the space. So it is a beginning of of uh, of great things, I would say. Yeah. If you just so tune in right now, you are listening to Lunch with Chingi, and thank you so much for making it a date. Musoni, before I let you go, just a few comments because we're closing off um, – our our chat Butlem Vambigena Uti as Africans I think that um, is a step to the right direction we all have ancestors and to celebrate them it's not a bad thing regardless of being Christian or not and uh, Piwa Piwe is saying I'm all for it 100% as we um, as uh, traditional people or healers uh, deserve to be recognized as well uh, what would be your last words Musoni all right. Um, my last word is, I think, as what the, the petition is about is the elders opening up the space. Uh, young people should be encouraged to participate because the revolution is always inherited by the youth. So we always need to bring in the youth. So I would say that uh, people shouldn't look at it as a petition for traditional leaders. Mm. Uh, they should see it as this is everybody's uh, space to participate in because at the end of the day, someone can try and isolate themselves and say, but I'm Christian, but you still pray to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who the Jews consider as their ancestors. And the word ancestors appears in the Bible over 500 times Mm -hmm. in so the God of our fathers, the God of our fathers, the God of our fathers. So, um, so in, in, in closing, really, one cannot escape that. It's part of who we are. And, and it's not really, it's not about what the misconception of worship. It, it's really the whole thing of emphasis because creation is all about uh, co-creation and continuity. So that's why we, we have parents and our parents, we, are representatives of our ancestors to to initiate us into the ways of our ancestors. Hence, the decree in prayer because we are addressing more than one person. If you just tune in right now and you're asking yourself, what were they talking about? Well, this is in relation of the... Uh, you know, petition of the traditional leaders of South Africa having it um, wanting to be signed by a lot of people, as many people as possible, to have a National Ancestors Day on the 8th of May. On uh, on the line, I have Musoni, who is a cultural memory specialist, who's been unpacking it for us. Musoni, thank you so much for your time, and do you have yourself a great day. Thank you, and it's a pleasure, and uh, have a blessed day to everyone in Makati. Thank you so Thank you. much. Have a blessed day yourself. Thanks Playing for right me. now is uh, Chris Brown, Run It on Bumalanga's Raza FM. Should you like to drop a comment, check us out on our Facebook page at Raza FM 943.